as a mama pushing down the stairs. You, you want to try that out, yeah, Will? Um, well, yeah, he wants to... I know you've seen some exciting... There are some exciting... Um, YouTube videos. YouTube videos on, on how wheelchairs can interact with escalators. And um, I think this is just exciting things to watch. Personally, if I was in a wheelchair, I wouldn't want to try them out. So you don't actually believe it can be done? I've seen the videos. I know it can be done. That uh, doesn't mean I'd want to try it. John. Yeah. No. So next time we're in Cannon Street tube station, you don't recommend going down the stairs? <laughs> um, I would love to see the video, John, if I wasn't sort of standing nearby okay um, and helping thing, to move you about another so thing I would like to add is I don't know I mean what, what are my responsibilities just put it put it that way because i I'm not got any official status I know well, if, I'm with, you... if I ha- just happen to be with you and I've been pushing you about most of the day and you suddenly decide to zoom down an escalator <laughs> in your chair is anybody going to come back to me if it goes horribly wrong quite likely <laughs> quite likely that's what I thought <laughs> <laughs> but um and say will you should have been looking out and making sure he didn't go down the next no somebody might make that have that point of view mightn't they I've got hmm. I've got something to tell you actually he for those of you who don't know at the at the um at the food and drink festival he got he got turned off by somebody for leaving me on my own <laughs> and well, <laughs> Do you remember? Yeah, I do. Yeah. They sort of assumed I should yeah. have been with you all the time, yeah. which doesn't, and, and doesn't make what, any sense and, to me. What he did, he went up to them and then he smiled at them about it. And, and, and what else was it? I want to also say that um, that that Chris Norton is joining us, and joining us at BET next year, so it will be interesting two people in wheelchairs trying to get around the wonderful city of smelly London. <laughs> Yes, I would just like to say if if somebody else would like to come to bet, I mean, I'm not objecting to more people in wheelchairs, but we just need a few more people who can do a bit of pushing and negotiating and um, smoothing the way and so forth. I think it's a wonderful thing that there's more people going to bet. It's a great event. London is the may I may I may I just say to Transport for London, it's the most inaccessible city in Britain. <laughs> uh, um, and you need to make it more accessible. Your tube sta- your tube your tube sta- your tube system's awful. Um, the staff don't the staff mean very the staff mean no, well but they but, don't know where they're going. Well yeah, but the, we've we have found that we can phone the Transport for London phone line, they do know. Yeah. They know exactly which stations are up and downable and where the escalators are and all this sort of, where the lifts are I should say yes we're yes. going to forget the escalators John yes you're they're correct. of no interest to us at all right yeah. okay okay whatever you can find on YouTube <laughs> okay that is all fantasy yes, how it was done yes, we're not yes. sure but we're not going to do anything like that okay but yeah the more pe- the more people who want to come to bet and also I think if, if we could explore the um, the technology that bet led us to over the next um, 10 months or so and plan our next journey once you get on the the, the Dockland Light Railway, it's okay. And uh, may I may I add to the Dockland Light Railway that the Dockland Light Railway is a robot and it drives itself around. Yes, and that is quite a good thing. We're also going to go to the gadget show, and um, we proved last year that we can cope with the the environment of the NEC. We can get to the hotel. We know where the railway station is. But we would like there to be a meet and greet robot. We're gonna we're gonna propose this gadget. There probably will be a development fund uh, associated with the gadget show live. I would think. What we want is a robot that meets us as we get off the train, and we say, "Please take us to the nearest Weatherspoons, and then take us to the hotel." I don't think there's gonna be another robot that does that. I can't. Why not? Well, you just got to tell the robot where you want to go. The robot knows all about the NEC. Can't and it walks, ro- it walks slightly ahead of you right. in the right direction and you keep talking to it and you say okay now now where where else have we got to go do you really think a device like that would work well, well, I think it's obviously it's gonna but it's only I mean it's just a combination of a robot and a, and a watch and a GPS system isn't it and a voice recognition system yes yeah, so a robot accurate system wouldn't you say 
Well, yeah, but that, that, that I'm sure. I mean, if you, if we're gonna believe, John, gonna, please stop crunching your cup. It's making too much noise. Okay. But yeah, look, if we, if we, we're, we're gonna go to the gadget show and they're gonna show us all kinds of cars, and they're gonna tell us that a self-driving car is just around the corner. I mean, time-wise, that is. It's not going to run us over. It's um, it's going to be something we could be talking about in the next eighteen months or so. So all and, and it's going to understand all the motorways of the UK. So we want just a simple robot that can move about uh, the railway station, the local hotels, the local eating places. It knows where the lifts are to get up and down between the different uh, halls in the display space. Okay. And it can take voice instructions and walk a few yards ahead of us. Okay. I, d- I don't think that's difficult at all. Okay. In fact, we should patent the idea. Right. But we'd like to see it happen, so we'll leave our spec in um, Creative Commons yeah. land at the moment. We uh, just would like one ready in March, is it? Yeah. It's the 31st of March. Uh, we go, isn't it? 31st of March, 1st of April. So we want one ready by then. Yeah. And when it can cope with the NEC, we want it to cope with London Transport as well. OK. So let's put on some music so that can happen. <laughs> 